What's going on YouTube is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors back with another official video. I'm back guys. I'm back. As you guys can see from the title of this video, this video is solely going to be about what's the best oil for your car, why you should use it and the benefits of the oil and the different kind of oils for your car. Also, some preventative maintenance things that can keep your car driving strong all year long, guys. We got Bruce up on the track. All right, so I want to first start by kind of talking about the different kind of oil grades, right? So we essentially have different kind of oil grades. You have what you call a 5W40, 5W30, and you have a 0W30, a 0W40. So just to kind of clarify that, the 0 is going to be for colder temperatures, um, whereas you may have the fives and the 10 W's that are going to be for almost like an all season and warmer temperature. The difference between the zeros and the fives is the zeros is a little bit looser. What happens with that oil is when you're in the colder climates, you're able to start your car and the oil is able to rapidly go through the engine, whereas the tens and the fives are a little bit thicker and more of an all season. So if you're definitely in a colder region, just go ahead and use the the zero. It'll work better for your car. They traditionally give you know both the same performance. Only when you're using the zero versus the five or the ten, it's more seamless for your car and it can uh, increase your your engine life. So with that being said, yes, you can use zero in warmer temperatures, but it's better to use the fives or the ten. So I just want to kind of explain that first about the different oils for your vehicle. Also guys, there's gonna be a couple of factors to determine what oil you use for your vehicle. For example, if you have high mileage, let's say for example, if you have a car that has upwards from 65,000 up, you wanna probably go with the 40, which is a thicker oil for your vehicle. It's gonna be a thicker oil if you have somewhat of a newer vehicle with, I would say, under 50K miles, then you probably can go with maybe like a 5W20, which is essentially your looser oil. But what I try to tell a lot of people is don't go by the year, go by the miles. Because if you put oil that's too thick in your vehicle, you can have somewhat of a restriction in your vehicle to where it's working a little bit harder to keep all of the internal engine components working the right way. And if you get oil that's too thin, right? You say, hey, I just want my car to breathe. You can potentially end up with an oil leak. So a lot of time from my common knowledge and from working on cars and just from collaborating with my peers and friends, I find that most of our oil leaks are coming from the wrong oil being used. Some people will use a, a 5W10 or a 520 uh, on their vehicles and It'll seep right through that valve cover or any of your engine components, especially if you tune it and you're pushing your car a lot harder. Generally, when you're pushing a little bit harder, you definitely want a thicker oil in your vehicle to keep it going. Also, as you guys may notice on the left, I do have the Lucas oil stabilizer. And I did a video on how that Lucas oil stabilizer can just ultimately help your car um, as far as the oil usage your oil burning too fast from a oil pressure light so make sure you guys take the time to watch that video every oil change i highly recommend to use lucas oil stabilizer it just works in miracles i would add it to every oil change even if you have a newer vehicle they have one that is a um, non-high mileage that gives your oil that recipe it needs and just keep your performance and your piston rings where it needs to be so definitely i would say add that to any oil change that you use and let's say for example if you're in an issue where you don't have the proper oil 
to use or it's too thin and you're just in a desperate need. It's kind of like adding octane to your car. You can just add it to a weaker oil and it will offset it and make it thicker. And ultimately, a lot of times when you have something thicker, especially if you're you're tuned, it would it would just ultimately help your car to where you're not um pushing your pushing your internals too hard. So that's why I have the uh, Lucas oil stabilizer over there. So guys, please, please, I would highly recommend using this. So many benefits. Now, guys, I was going to put liquid molly on here, but I know a lot of regions and a lot of people don't have liquid molly. I generally will use uh, liquid molly on my car and I generally will use uh, Castrol Edge. Now, for me utilizing each three oils on my vehicle, I use the Mobile One, I use the Liquid Molly, I use the Castrol, and I use the Royal Purple. I just wanted to see how my car performed um, ultimately. My car on stage four, Big Turbo Tune, worked really well with um, the Liquid Molly. Um, which is a high performance oil. Now my Audi A7 as well as my Volkswagen Atlas works really good with a uh, Castro Edge high performance uh high performance oil. Mobile One didn't work so well with my vehicle. Nor did Royal Purple. I felt with Royal Purple that my engine was working a little bit harder. And with Mobile One, it worked really well. It did the job. It was almost comparable to Castro and liquid molly however mobile one just seemed to burn a lot faster than the rest so i'm not sure if it has something to do with the specific components that they use but definitely mobile one burned it faster whereas castro and liquid molly retained a longer oil life. royal purple just didn't work for me but in the event that i had my mobile one in my car and i didn't want to do another oil change that's where i added that uh lucas oil stabilizer and by adding that to it it kind of balanced it the um lucas oil stabilizer didn't work so well with the uh, royal purple as it's a little bit thicker so i wouldn't recommend that one really guys it's ultimately about knowing your vehicle staying consistent with your oil changes treating your car the way it needs to be being proactive and i know there's a lot of people out there with newer audis i'm, I'm telling you right now I'm giving you this video to be one step ahead of the game. As you guys can see, I have a 2023 um, VW Atlas. In, in addition, I have an Audi A7. And I've had Audis my entire life. And when I tell you that this matters, be proactive versus reactive. And then your car will go a long way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to just share my thoughts and just hopefully help someone out in the community. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.